welcome back. In this video we are going to review Germany's tier 7 tank in armored aces, also known as Panzerkampfwagen Tiger II for short. It is a heavy tank armored with Krupp steel. It is essentially the Tiger I on steroids and it competed against other heavy tanks in Germany during the time of World War II, specifically speaking the Tiger II Henschel. It is armed with an improved 8.8cm gun compared to the Tiger I, and it is strictly armoured with more angled slopes around the tank. The current battle rating for the Tiger IIP is 42.2 with full upgrade and the price of this tank is roughly 1,250,000 silver coins or if I'm mistaken it is at least 1.2 million. So today we will just review um, the pros and cons of this tank um, and we'll see how it performs on the new World War II Mato. So let's begin. I still remember in the oldest Armored Aces update, the only Tiger II that has existed was the Henschel variant. I got it for 700,000 coins during that time and after a year or less a new update came in which presented tanks such as uh, the E100, Super Pershing, Tiger II Porsche and new IS models. I just have to say this in the re review quickly, um, the sad part was when my Tiger II Henschel was replaced with Porsche model in that new update and then the Henschel model moved up towards tier 8 on the German tech tree and I still have to unlock it uh, again. That was my little story, sorry, so let's just move on. Let's look at the pros of this tank. What I really like is the main gun. The damage you can give to a tier 8 tank is actually quite nice for a tier 7. The all around armor is pretty decent as it can take a couple of punishment. Like again, this is pretty good for a tier 7 tank. Uh, the gun depression is also not that bad, but you do need to be careful. The frontal armor for the tart hole and the frontal slope armor is actually pretty uh, good. When you get into a fight with enemy tanks, always expose your front armor. You will have a higher chance bouncing off shells and you will reduce the damage you can take from the enemy. Now uh, let's look at some list of cons. So it is a tier 7 tank and in armored aces. Uh, Mato, especially for World War II, most tier 7 tanks underperform due to lower statistical characteristic in comparison to tier 8 tanks. So I'm not saying that tier 7 tanks are bad, I'm just stating that they are generally more difficult to drive up against stronger tanks that you are competing. I'm talking about T-30s, M36B2s, Jager Tiger, Maus and etc. The Tiger II has sloped armor on each side which helps you to bounce off shells. However, your tank has to be angled to get this chance. If you get shot on the sides, you will you are losing your HP and also you are losing your life expectancy on the field. So be very careful. Tiger II P specifically cannot take hits on the side especially from T-30s or ISU-152s. It just can't take that many punishment for most tier 8 tanks. The tank is quite slow and has a higher profile, so you can get sniped across the map. It is also less maneuverable, which gives advantages to tanks that have speed, so they can outperform you. The Tiger 2P needs to be on a flat surface, so it has a good gun depression. Your health in a Tiger 2P is 990 HP at max, which is okay but not good. Your range is limited with 330 meters compared to tank destroyers which they have 345 view meter view range. Also, given the fact that you are slow and less maneuverable, maneuverable sorry, you could be a free kill to those enemies. Once again, Tiger 2 has weak spots like on every tank. The rear 
for both turret hull and tank hull is weak, the sides are weak, but the front armor is actually pretty good. So always know this rule, front armor is the way to go, and I have to say that Tiger 2s in general have very good frontal armor. Now a final thing, please don't think that this tank is bad, I'm honestly getting tired of the uh, armor that made of. I'd rather use tanks that can be fun, like the Tiger 2. If you could stay behind as support for your teammates, then this tank has great potential. If you angle your armor correctly, then you can bounce off shells. If you expose your front armor, then you will live. And that also depends if you're fighting a tank that is equal to yours. Tank destroyers and T-30s are your enemies. They can half your HP in a matter of seconds. So try and stick to one teammate who knows uh, who knows what they are doing. Do not brawl in this tank. Don't just get out there and commit suicide. Just stay with your team. I promise you. And that is about it, everyone. Um, this review might have been boring or fun, but I always wish to make more interesting reviews. So thank you guys for watching. Tiger out.